Hey, what's up, guys? Today we're working on Justin Bieber's brand new song, Holy, featuring Chance the Rapper. Now, this is what we call a four chord song, meaning, yes, it only has four chords, but in particular, it has four chords that are very commonly used in pop music. And I'll go into that a little bit more in another video, which I'll put a link to up here. But basically, these chords are going to be a C, a G, an A minor, and an F. And that's with our caper up at the sixth fret. Without a caper, I'm not going to go too much into this, but our chords are a F sharp, a C sharp, a D sharp, and then a B. But caper up the sixth fret, we're going to start on that C. So put your first finger on the second string in the first fret, your second finger up at the fourth string in the second fret, and then your third finger on the fifth string in the third fret. And what I'm going to do here is just strum with my thumb for two reasons. One, it's going to be a softer sound to kind of simulate that soft piano part at the start. And it also gives me a bit more control because what I want to do is just strum the fifth, fourth and third strings together. Then we move to a G. So your first finger goes on the fifth string in the second fret, second finger on the sixth string in the third fret, and then your third finger on the first string in the third fret. And again, just strumming from the sixth string down to the third string. So 6th, 5th, 4th and 3rd. Now we're moving to that A minor. So your first finger on the 2nd string in the 1st fret, 2nd finger on the 4th string in the 2nd fret, and then your 3rd finger on the 3rd string in the 2nd fret. And again, strumming from the 5th string down to the 3rd string. And now an F. So your first finger stays where it is on that second string in the first fret, second finger on the third string in the second fret, third finger up at the fifth string in the third fret, and fourth finger just play that on the fourth string in the third fret. And this time we're actually just going to strum the fifth and fourth strings. Now if you want to, you can wrap your thumb around and pop it on that first fret on the sixth string. Uh, it is a little bit tricky though, and then you can add that sixth string into it if you choose to. Either way, just strumming to the fourth string. And that's what we're going to do every time it's just those long held chords, which is pretty much at the start of the song, does come in again later as well. Now leading into the chorus, we're going to get a pick out and start strumming normally. And we're just going to start on that F and do three strums. Now in the chorus, there is a bit of a piano movement there. Uh, which we're not really going to follow, and the reason is because this caper kind of gets in the way a little bit. Because we want to make these chords nice and full, if we did follow that movement, then the high notes in there, the part that's moving, is only on the third string, so it's not actually that high on the guitar. So I'm just going to ignore that, and we're just going to do nice full strums. So we start on that C. And we do two strums. And then to the G, and two strums again. To the A minor. You only do that twice for the first chorus, and then the funky bass line comes in. And so that sounds like this. So we're starting on that third fret on the fifth string, and play that again, and then immediately play an open fifth string. And then to the second fret. That second fret again to the third fret on the sixth string. And then to the open fifth string. Then we go open fifth string again, third fret sixth string, to first fret sixth string. sort of the turnaround till it's back to the start. We go one, three on the sixth string, then three, five on the fifth string. And then it starts again. And on the acoustic, 
guitar, that sounds really cool if you actually palm mute it a little bit. So just rest your palm on the strings right back near the bridge here. And there we go guys, that's Holy by Justin Bieber featuring Chance the Rapper. Have a listen to the song to figure out where those parts kind of come in. The bass part's pretty obvious. The other two chordal parts, I'm sure you can figure out. Leave any comments, questions, or requests in the comment section below. And make sure to like and subscribe. I've got new lessons coming out every single week, and it really helps support the channel. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Sam. I'll see you next time.